This video is about how to make whistles out of scrap materials. The Soda Can Survival Whistle is a whistle made from an aluminum can. It is crafted by cutting and shaping the metal to create the whistle's structure and can serve as a compact and improvised signaling device in survival situations. Cut a strip of the aluminum can about two and a half inches long and about half an inch wide. Cut another strip about an inch long and half an inch wide. Position the short strip over the long strip in a cross shape and fold the overhanging parts of the small strip behind the long strip. Fold the top of the longer strip behind to complete the mouthpiece. Bend the strip down from the mouthpiece and shape it into a standard P-whistle shape. Slightly open the mouthpiece to create an air channel. To use the whistle, you need to cover up the sides with your thumb and forefinger and leave a small air gap. Try blowing into the mouthpiece. You may need to adjust the position or cut the strip a bit shorter to make it function properly. Inserting a small ball into the whistle introduces pitch variations and produces a trilling sound as the ball moves up and down. The whistle can also be made from other materials you can find almost anywhere, like paperboard, a common packaging material, or plastic bottles. Here is another whistle that could be made from a tin can lid. Start with a clean, empty tin can lid. Be careful with sharp edges that could cause injury. Carefully fold the lid in half. Make a small, approximately 3mm hole through both sides of the lid, about 5mm from the folded edge. Smooth out the rough edges around the hole. To use it, hold it horizontally between your thumb and index finger. Place your lips around the folded lid with your tongue touching the fold dividing your mouth into two parts. Blow gently, avoiding excessive force as it may make the task more challenging. Instead of solely blowing, try saying the letter T simultaneously to produce a whistle sound. You can modify the tone by varying the pressure applied with your tongue and adjusting your mouth. This whistle is similar to a sheepdog whistle and may require some practice to produce loud and clear sounds consistently.